Hey guys, what's up? Waffle here, just bringing you a quick ranked commentary of a game that I played last night. I'm playing mid Kazix, um, and I'm up against a Twisted Fate. Um, so, yeah, that's a pretty good matchup, Kazix. I'm feeling pretty good about that one. Anyway, the team comps we got me boy Learn to Mars at top as Echo, um, me mid Kazix, uh, Lee in Jungle, AD Carry uh, Draven, and Support Thresh. Uh, they are running a Gangplank top, um, TF mid obviously, Rexfire jungle, Israel AD carry, and Soraka support. So, what do I think about the team comps? Um, I think theirs is probably a bit stronger. Um, they've got, they've got Gangplank who's got pretty damn good, uh, team fighting, and, well, their whole team is pretty good team fighting, really. Um, a lot of, a lot of CC and... Uh, TF, uh, Sorak's got the silence, Rek'Sai's got that front line knock up and all that. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit rough, but I think, yeah, I think we um, have a pretty good shot of, uh, well, it's Salt the Q, anything can bloody happen, let's be honest. So yeah, Kha'Zix versus uh, Twisted Fate. Um, I think this is probably one of the easiest li um, lanes for Kha'Zix, because as soon as he lets go of that gold card, or blue card or whatever card he has thrown well once it's on cooldown he doesn't really have any tools to get away he's got no gap closers um he's got no other cc and um you simply just out damage him unless he's like super ahead but you know, if that happens yeah uh, he might as well quit um anyway <laughs> so um in the early game it's just kind of like i just don't want to get poked too much by cards he says as he gets hit by one but um yeah, so it's just kind of be patient, wait for the leap. Um, try not to get zoned too badly, but yeah, just kind of heal up. Anyway, what's going on down box? A uh, bit of fighting. Um, Ezreal almost died, and well, <laughs> see what happens down there. Anyway, yeah, so do I have any other thoughts right now? Not really, um, I suppose. I suppose we can mention Lee Sin coming in. Well, yeah, I didn't help Lee Sin, but I didn't have my leap a little too, so I couldn't really do much, so he was a jumping the gun a bit there, but that's fine, nothing really happened, so it's whatever. Um, anyway, top's getting pushed pretty hard, so um, yeah, they're both pretty low health, so I guess Echo's pretty susceptible to gank, but he's got that warded, so he's all good. So when I play mid Kha'Zix, I try and just prioritise farming and just not falling too far behind well wow that's, that's a good strategy yeah don't lose um <laughs> well um the thing with mid Kha'Zix is not all the lanes are very um very good for him um simply because um he doesn't have the uh he's got he's got some decent sustain especially if you max w um which yeah that helps him survive a bit um but he's he can have some minor issues and Personally, I don't think buying a tier of the goddess is too good on them. Uh, hold up, hold that thought. Um, I'm going pretty hand because he used this card, and well, Lee uh, gets the Q off, and I ignore him, pop another Q on him, and that is that. Free kill for me. Thank you, Lee. That was a good Q. Anyway, yeah. So, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with um, going Miramana on Kazix, but f personally, for me, I just think it delays the power spike a bit too much for my taste. Um, I was actually talking to the guys today about one of them tried Miramana top and then going tanky build. Um, I hate the sound of that because it's tanky, but um, I, it seemed to, if you go say um, Frozen Gauntlet or whatever and then the Miramana in, in there somewhere, probably tier rush first, I guess that'd been pretty good because then you can easily, if you max W and then evolve Q, well then you get the healing from W, but you can just spam it and you've got tier and you've got a shit ton of mana and you get the mana reduction. I reckon that could be pretty strong. Um, but maybe I'll give it a go, but I'm generally like to be a bit of a prick and just go full AD because I don't like being tanky. I mean, it's a bit funny, um, tank Azix, because I feel if you just, if you're going to go tank Azix, you might as well play something like Echo or a tank because <laughs> yeah Kha'Zix doesn't really have that much CC in his kit he's got a lot of slows but he doesn't have any of the you know stuns knockups roots all that sort of thing 
Anyway, um, what's going on bot lane? Looks like they're getting ganked. Oh, that was a pretty good uh, E by the Raven, but uh, Thresh seems pretty buggered, and yeah, there goes Thresh. What a pity. But yep, so I'm doing well on my lane. Got the Q first because I want to kill this boss. I don't want to kill everyone, so... And I actually, I should mention, I'm instead of... Oh, hold up. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, so that was a bit unfortunate. He flashed the W. So he didn't die, but we got his flash, and I'm feeling fairly safe to uh, push this. I saw Rex I yanked quite before, and... Hold on. Oh, let, me just, let me put a replay on this. What is Lee Sin thinking here? So he goes in. I guess he's trying to finish off TF. He's not there, and then... Ah. I'm not convinced by that, but okay, whatever. <laughs> so I'm not sure why why exactly he did that, but that's alright. So I take this opportunity to try and go to the F and doesn't go too well. I got exhausted before my Q went off, so he didn't die. And I committed flash, but I'm in a bit of a situation here, but I just, you know, fight off the wreck sign and yeah, go back to my lane. Nothing really happened, but... Yeah, a bit of a commitment. It didn't pay out, but that's alright. Um, TF is pretty much has to go back now, so at least I can deny a bit of mid-farm. Now, what was I saying about Miramana tank thing? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's like, I don't really like it because you just um, play other tanks instead. But I suppose um, the good thing about Kha'Zix is, I don't know, maybe the situation in the game changes and you decide... Hey, I need to go frontline or whatever. I need to, I need to beef up. I suppose it could be good. It could be good. So what I decide to do here, I'm pretty sure I decide to run top, try and uh, kill this gangplank, and I walk through a pink ward. Do a lot of damage to him, but can't really finish him off, especially since the minion wave arrives. That's one thing that bloody tilts me. The minion wave. When you're going in for the kill, and it says, oh, well, there goes half your damage, because minions came. Oh, well, it's not like it's an RNG thing. You can clearly see on the map that it's coming, just by watching your own wave and, I suppose, working it out from there. Anyway, yeah, so I head back mid, TF, TP's bot, um, oh, sorry, top, TP's top, kills, kills Echo, and what do we got here? Rek'Sai's invading bit. But since we saw that shit was going down, we know TS round top. So we bugger off. So nothing really happens. Another thing I forgot to mention was that I went tier mat instead of a hex drink of this game. I thought they didn't have a lot of magic damage except yeah, they've got TF, Ezreal, maybe Soraka, but that's kinda scraping the bottom of the barrel there. Um and yeah, um hold on. That fella's screwed. But he's done some pretty good games this game for me. And... Soraka comes, so I bugger off. Uh, I juke this fella out. Yeah, see you later, mate. I didn't actually think that would work too well because of Tremor Sense. But, unfortunately for him, he got tagged by Lee, so he's a buggered. And that's another kill for me. Good stuff. But yeah, um... And another good thing about going to Tiamat, if yeah, she gets away, another good thing about Tiamat was that it would help me push a bit. And I go Tiamat pretty much every single game with Kha'Zix. The active in midair is the dream. It is beautiful. Uh huh. And it's good fun. But anyway, so I'm pretty sure I just push it out a bit. Oh, well, I decide to back probably. Oh, no. Just, yeah, just farm up. Nothing really exciting for now. Hold on, what the yeah. Oh. Did he ult? Or did he just walk? Let's have a look. He just walked up and then flashed. Huh. That's no good. I probably called him my I don't know, maybe... Something wrong. I guess he probably didn't anticipate the flash, but that's fine. Um... <laughs> So what's TF on? He's two kills, two deaths, I'm two zero one, so I'm doing fairly well. 
I've denied him about 35 or 30 ish CS, so that's pretty good. Pretty happy about that. So I've got a decent lead on him, and if I'm in the lane, he's he's pretty much shitting his pants. He's like, that's a big fucking Kha'Zix, and I'll be pretty afraid if I was him too. Anyway, they decide to start this up. This here dragon, so Echo decides to TP down, and we uh, get a bit feisty here, but let's get gold guarded and. Pretty sure they just kind of run. Oh, I get him, I suppose, yeah. And, yeah, they just disengage, and I eat too much shots from Ezreal, and he tries to ult. Lucky for me, he missed. <laughs> so, yeah, we just get a kill. No dragon or anything. Good stuff. Another kill for me, so I do the, the smart thing and push more and farm, because that's, it's good to do that. Anyway, while I'm doing my shit in mid, uh, our team decides to do a dragon, got a pink ward there, and not really much opposition. So, lovely, lovely, we get an earth dragon, which may not matter much. I decided to gank top because it looked a bit pushed, but yeah, I think that pink ward's been there for most of the game. I probably forgot to get rid of it when I came top the first time, so that was pretty stupid of me, but anyway, not much you can really do there, so I had... Head down here. Bit of a fight going on here. Hold on. Where was Lee Sin when this fight started? Okay, so they got Dragon, which is good. Oh, so okay, so they go for red. So do they actually get it? No, they don't get it. And Rek'Sai follows. I suppose, yeah, he just gets gold card or something. Yeah. I'm getting plain ults. Okay, fair enough. Um, so I suppose they got a bit greedy there. Um, but I decide to try and stealth in, kill that fella. But, oh wait, no, I didn't really bugger up. I got him with the ignite, so that's good. And I stealth out of there. See you later, Rek'Sai. You can go get stuff. And then Serapi comes, so yeah, there's not really much hope in turning that fight around when Serapi's about. And it's real snipe Suresh because get stuffed. <laughs> and I just back because I'm not, I'm not even going to try fighting that. I'd rather rather not. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so they push mid, and yeah, one problem with Kha'Zix mid is he doesn't really have wave clear. There's a few problems with Kha'Zix mid. He's a bit hit, hit or miss, but being a Kha'Zix one trick, you know, I'll play Kha'Zix mid, regardless. Play Kha'Zix mid into his ear, why not? Play Kha'Zix mid into an Urgot, why not? Why an Urgot? I don't know. I guess he was in the meta back last season for a bit, with the whole, I think it was like a frozen art build or something, it's good fun, anyway, oh I've got the leap, that means fun things are about to happen, I hope, if they don't, well, I guess we'll go, I don't know, try in a corner or something, yeah, so, yeah, just standard pushing the wave back, um, I guess, what am I thinking here? Guess I'm just yeah, just trying to catch uh, jungle objectives, but instead I catch gangplank. So that's pretty, that's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, just push up, um, try and answer the uh, the tower that they got earlier. But Rexai is hanging around mid, and that's that's another thing I try and do when I play mid. I try not to get too aggressive unless I'm certain I know where the enemy jungler is, because there's a lot of times I get a little bit baited and go in and then the jungle is there and I'm like, shit, I'm dead. <laughs> so I try not to do that, but sometimes it's just, you just, you just gotta go for me. You, just, you see, you see a, you see a squishy mage just chilling and you, you just gotta get rid of him. I'm sorry, it just has to happen. <laughs> anyway, that was pretty boring right now. It's happening in bot lane. So, just farm and Lee tries to do something, but can't really. Yeah, Ezreal's uh, got the old uh, Iceborne Gauntlet build going, which he's actually one of the most annoying AD carries for Kha'Zix because of, yeah, the, the 65 armor you get from it. It's just it's just a pain in the ass to deal with, honestly. Because, yeah, he gets he gets such a good amount of damage from it. Oh, maybe not. I don't know, it's probably Trifles a lot better, but... Yeah, he gets a good amount of damage, he gets tankiness, he gets sustain in the form of the mana, so it's, yeah, quite annoying. And then in the late game team fights, if he, um, 
Well, not only do you have to get to him, but you have to burst him through his armor, and then you have to... And then he'll probably E away, and he's got, like, really good cooldown reduction, and... Oh, God, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a bit of a scary moment. Um, sorry, bloody ramble about Israel, and I've got this crazy escape. I decide to ward, and there's a TF. I mean, a gangplank. Then there's a TF, and I'm like, fuck, let's not. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> So, kind of have to burn flash there, that sucks, but... Yeah, Gangplank is a cheeky little bastard. Yeah, Ezreal's a bit of an ass because... Yeah, um, you jump on him, he ease away, he slows you with the Iceborne. Um, you can stealth, which is good. Um, but, yeah, if he's got his team around and he just... He gets the eyes... Um, he removes your isolation... He just, he just takes very little damage, and it's annoying, especially when he's 5 on 3. So that's a bit unfortunate. What's going on up top? Lee's getting chased. Yeah, Lee's getting chased, and... I think Echo may be a bit caught. Oh, he's got his ult, and here comes Draven, and... I'm... S I beg your pardon? Let's just... What exactly did this dragon do? So he comes in, goes on Soraka, there's four guys around and he, he flashes in. Sorry Draven, not quite convinced. I try and jump on TF, he flashes the wall, so I'm feeling a bit depressed about that. And Gangplank Bolt goes down, and we got no AD carry, and everyone's dying, so... I feel pretty shit right now, because I can't do anything, and... Oh, well, it's just me and the enemy team. <laughs> Yeah, but fortunately I get out. So I'm thinking that's probably going to cost us a mid tower or two, maybe even the inib. I don't actually remember what happens off this. Oh, no, Draven's back up, maybe not. So they push, they get mid turret. How sad. Anyway, the score right now is um I still haven't died, which is good. I strive to die as least as possible in my games unless I'm tilting then I just do stupid shit <laughs> but yeah so I haven't died which is good uh Draven died a few times Lee died a few times I guess Echo has too oh I guess everyone's died a few times but <laughs> uh, yeah I try not to focus on that sort of thing I just focus on my own well I try to focus on my own game sometimes I get a bit angry when I see I don't know, 0, 17, 2, bot lane, 80 carry, and then I, yeah. But, you know, that doesn't happen every game. If it did, that would be horrible. Gangplank ult's up there. I don't really know why. Oh, I guess he almost got that guy. But he's out -ski. So I guess I decided to back for whatever reason. Probably had to finish an item off or buy something. I decided to go... Uh, Ninja Tabo here because they've got a lot of AD threats. They're pretty ahead and They don't have I mean they have CC they have the TF gold card and They have Soraka's silence, but it's not, and then they've got the knockout from Rek'Sai, but Merc Treads won't I mean yeah, Merc Treads won't really help against that I don't think it's too bad a CC and I thought just negating some of the auto attack damage from Ezreal and Gangplank would be the main priority here. I thought that would be my biggest concern in this game. And I think... Yeah, I decided to go a Black Flavor, so I don't really need to see the others. Alright, I jump into this fight. Actually, let's, let's slow down a little bit. Ditching the camera better. So, yeah. Bit of a fight going on here. Gang, um, TF's altered, but Thresh lands a hook, which is good. I go in. I didn't check that TF had no one um, he had a Zonya, so I kinda probably shouldn't have done that. Because yeah, he just he popped it and then my My jump was on cooldown and we lose the fight. We lose three men and oh two men, sorry. And yeah, that kinda sucks. So they're probably gonna get this mid turret. In fact um they certainly will. Yeah, so they get the uh the inhibitor, um, a turret. Do they get the inhibitor? Probably. And they're all grouped up, and 
can't really do anything, so they get an inhib. That's not good. So I'm sitting here, 403. Trying to find a way in. Instead, I find an Ezreal and almost die. But luckily for me, I have stealth and leap, so I don't. Ezreal tries to snipe me. I'm too good for that shit. I'm a beast. And I guess these guys try and fight, which. I well, get one, so that's good. So they probably should back off here. That's that's what I would have assumed would be the best idea. Uh, yeah, they just kind of back off. They get a kill, so that's good. Good to get picks every now and then. This is going to be a problem though, this inhibitor. But I don't know if we can defend better. And just, if we if we get a good team fight, well then we just like I don't know, pick up Baron or something, push uh, push Aaron in the inhib. So it shouldn't matter too much, but it's a problem. Certainly. So, uh, yeah, try and get some band control down. Let's see where the enemy team's positioned right now. Yeah, so they're, they're looking to probably get a Baron play going. TF's pushing bot to get the push push going. I think this game I should have maybe focused more on trying to get a split push going myself. Because, yeah, just... I didn't really have much impact, I don't think. Well, up to this point. But there's just, like, two team fights happened and... Nothing, I couldn't really do anything, unfortunately. That was all so grouped up, and when I went in, just gangplank barrels just chunked me for about half my health, and yeah, TF's got his Zonyas, and Ezreal's got all his armor as well, so it's a bit tricky. At this point, though, I've got, got the Ghost Blade, and I've got the Black Cleaver, so if I can get onto him, well, killing them's not that hard, but the problem is all the, all the support they're going to get from Soraka, and then, I don't know, Rek'Sai, and... Yeah, wh whoever else I'm not targeting is gonna turn on me. And our lady carries, he's got a he's got a ghost blade and infinity. Yeah, he, he chunks pretty hard. The um only problem is he just doesn't need to flash into four of them alone. So if he doesn't do that and he can get a bit of peel from fresh, he can be a bit of a threat. Um what else? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I didn't notice the minimap. So, yeah, obviously they're doing Baron. We all know where this kind of goes. Drive and ult it. They get it. Yeah, we didn't really have much wards. That's a nice kick from Lee. Damn. Too bad it accomplished jack shit. Alright, quickly I just want to... Clip me right here. It's just... A little play. Well, it's not really... It's not a play because nothing happened. But it could have been a play. So, yeah, obviously that goes down. We got, we got vision here, so I know this Ezreal's looking to go over, so I kind of hang back here. We got a pink ward there, so I know they don't really have vision. If that Ezreal eat over a lot earlier, I would have jumped on him and killed him. Or well, maybe not, because TF would have altered me. <laughs> now that I think about it, but... Like, little plays like that, it's all about looking for your opportunity as Kha'Zix. Don't find it there, but oh well. So, Thresh is dead. Um... Anyway, yeah, uh, he gets ulted. He's almost dead. Ult comes in, misses. At this point, I think it's do or die. So I go in on Gangplank while he's split up. He flashes away. So then I go in on him, flash away to avoid the knockup. Ignite him. Don't get him either, which is unfortunate. Soraka's coming in and healing. Ezreal's coming in. I give him a W and leap out, so... Yeah. Not good. Not good. So we go back. What's going on in our base? Uh, it's getting destroyed. It's, uh... Shit. There goes Thresh again. I'll try and do a bit of poke. And at this point, it doesn't look too good. Honestly. I got the Baron push going. Our, we got... Our support's dead. And I'm, I'm looking to try and do something. I keep getting slowed. But I go in on him and... He flashes and there's my death of the game. Following my death of the game is the loss of the game. So, yeah, this game didn't go too well. Anything happen here? Oh, we get a kill on TF. Great. Oh, is that a double? Oh, that's two kills. Is that a triple? Oh my goodness. Hold on. Is the game over? I don't think it is. Oh my fucking kidding, the game's over. How sad. Let's have that shit blow up. 
Actually, I won. Surprise. No. <laughs> Anyways, that game, that was a loss, unfortunately. Um, oh, well, it says victory here. That means I won, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, sweet. Um, <laughs> so, I've had, I've had a bit of a tilt, actually, um, the last couple of days. I went from Diamond 392 LP to Diamond 412 LP. So, almost two whole divisions I've gone down in three or two days or so. That, uh, that's depressing. <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll bring a picture of it. Um, I don't even think it was me doing that poorly. Like, I obviously had a few games where I was like, I don't know, three and seven, I think, or a couple of games like that. But I don't know, like, I, I tried to do my job and I tried, like, I wasn't falling that far behind the eight ball. I was still being irrelevant in all of them, I think, hopefully. <laughs> Um, but there's a, um, my problem, the problem I'm facing is, if we, if we are behind, um, and they, and they do this grouping up death ball team fighting thing, which is generally what happens in my ELO, or I think most ELOs actually, I don't know. Um, well yeah, it turns out, um, League's a team game, so doing that's pretty smart. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't, I can't really figure it out, it's... Like, yeah, they just they group up, and I'm looking for an opportunity, and it, it just I'm just never finding it. I'd like, I mean, there's got there's got to be opportunity. I mean, yeah, there's there's always an opportunity to make it um to do something, but I suppose I suppose in the higher ranks, people just make less mistakes. So maybe maybe I need to expand expand my um my thinking a bit. So that's why I think these are uh, these uh, ranks commentaries are going to be fantastic. So I can first of all get better at commentary, because I'm not great at it. <laughs> well, this is my first one, so I'm just kind of winging it, and I, yeah, don't really know what to say half the time, but I get through it, I suppose. <laughs> and, but yeah, the more important thing is I get to look at, I can see, I can, I suppose, watch back the replays and see where I can catch my, my enemies, um, AD carry and mid lane are caught out sort of thing or where they're in a bad position and I can go to town on them because that's the main goal I sort of try and achieve maybe maybe it's a build pile thing I've been pretty bad with my builds recently I don't know I just I just get addicted to that dust blade and I'm just like this item has 75 AD and armor pen it's it is everything I need but <laughs> um it's it's looking like that that's not really the case and maybe maybe I need to for once in my life evolve W and become a bit of a peeler for my team and but yeah um, so I've got I think I've got to adapt my playstyle a little bit but that's where I guess uh, watching these games can be in handy and I guess I didn't yeah guess um there's gonna be a lot to learn and yeah, it'll be a fun little experience, and if you want me to do more of these, uh, and even more importantly, if you have any advice for how I commentate, or any tips or anything, give me, um, let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, it was a pretty, uh, pretty uh, devastating loss. I'm depressed. Anyway, guys, leave your comments about... Um, if you want me to do more of these, first of all, um, I can make this like a series. Maybe I'll do one once every few days, once a week or something. I don't know. Um, and then... And yeah, and, and the bigger the bigger thing is uh, just give me advice on how, to, how can I improve? What, what other aspects of the game can I talk about? And how can I get better at doing the camera thing? <laughs> In this, because I noticed I, you know, I was kind of all over the shop. I wasn't really focused on anything. Um, if you want me to focus on the whole game, or maybe you just want me to focus purely on what I'm doing, because you know I'm, I'm the Kazakhs man, and I don't really know much about other aspects of the game. Uh, I know, yeah, <laughs> not much. <laughs> anyway, um, Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll, uh,
thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you around next time